Let G be a group. Then the identity of G, E, as well as G itself, are homomorphic images of G. That's what we'll prove today. Link in the description to my lesson introducing homomorphisms and homomorphic images if you need to review. Beginning with the set containing the identity, to prove that it's a homomorphic image of the group G, we need a function from G onto the set containing the identity, and we need this function to preserve the group operation. So here's the function. We'll call it H. It maps the group G onto the set containing the identity, and it is defined as this, H of X equals the identity. Of course, there's not any other choice, so that's what it is. Now again, for this to be a homomorphic image, we need this function to be onto, to be surjective. So is it onto? Well, yes, obviously, the only element in the codomain is the identity, and the identity is mapped to by every element of the group, so. It is surjective. Then, to prove that h of x, y equals h of x times h of y is also very easy. Consider h of x, y for two arbitrary elements of g, x, and y. By definition of h, it maps x, y to the identity e. But of course, the identity e is the same as e times e, which by definition of h is the same as h of x times h of y. So indeed, h is an onto function that preserves the group operation. So indeed, the set containing the identity is a homomorphic image of the group G. Next, we'll prove that G is a homomorphic image of itself. So we'll need this function f that maps G to G, and it will be defined in the most obvious way, f of x equals x. This certainly is an onto or surjective function since given any x in G, it's mapped to by x. So for sure it is onto. Then to prove that it preserves the group operation, the f of x y equals f of x times f of y is similarly straightforward. Consider f of x y for two group elements x and y. This by definition of f is equal to the input x, y. But by definition of f, that's the same as f of x times f of y. So indeed, it preserves the group operation. Since we have this surjective function from g onto itself that preserves the group operation, that means g is a homomorphic image of itself. Thus, every group has two pretty trivial homomorphic images, the set containing its identity and the entire group itself. Of course, in the case of the trivial group, which only has the identity, these two homomorphic images are the same thing. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Abstract Algebra course and Abstract Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. I'm a secular anesthetic for my own energy I didn't try just to be right